What's up everybody? Greg, back in the garage, obviously. So, last video we made dollies so I can move the butt end of Francis around. Now, it is time to gut her. We're gonna pull the motor, not the trans probably, just the motor, pull the motor. Um, whatever other wiring that's in here needs to come out because it's all trash. And I don't want to keep it because I have a brand new wire harness. So once we have the motor out, we will be able to get to things like here, here, around here, everything in there. And then we can proceed to see where we need to start cutting, drilling, chopping to get the bad panels off and replace them with the new ones that we have. So. Yes, I've never done this. Um, how hard could it be? You see people do it at car shows. They pull their motors out of things. So this should be interesting to say the least. I'm not exactly sure how everything goes, but exhaust will come off and then maybe the manifolds. I don't even know if those need to come off. I don't really have, I only have a jack. So hopefully that's all I'll need as far as getting this thing down and out. But I do know this should come off and then the motor should be like, pull towards the back and then down. So we'll go with that. The one shiny new part that is on this bus, I believe that's a fuel pump back there. I don't know, a free pr fuel pressure regulator, but it's the only thing that's new and shiny here. So let's start, um, yeah, let's start yanking things out. First step in any uh, engine removal is if you do have a battery, disconnect it. Been there, done that. Um, any electrical connections need to come off and be labeled if humanly possible. And then our in air intake is not even on here. So we're gonna disconnect any hoses, anything that's connected from the body of the bus to the motor. We're gonna just disconnect. And then we we'll, I sprayed WD-40 on the bolts for like the mount, the rear mounts, and two of the bolts that connect the engine to the trans. So that's soaking. I gotta see if I can reach the top two. I'm not 100 percent sure. And then see if I can get some WD-40 on them as well. I need to get my ladder because now I'm too short. Now that the bus is jacked up. So let me get that. All right, so follow my ladder. The wife had it. Um, disconnected all of the wiring um, from the solenoids and everything, the starter as well. I do have to get down to these two bolts, one right there, one over there. I think those are the last for the transmission mounted to the engine. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Let me show you what's going on underneath though. Oh. I tried to undo one of the bolts for the engine to trans and the whole stud came out. It's rusted completely. The other one is spinning but it is trapped by the bell housing. 
right there, as you can see. So, but it's loose, so I, I should be good there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna looking to see if those other bolts I really do need to take off. They are 17s, like the ones I just took out. So hopefully, those will come out with no problem. Now I have my step stool, I can reach those bolts and hopefully get I think those are the ones I really do hope so because if not I'm not sure where the other ones are Ever so, ever so deep. Yeah, look at that. Everything is rusted underneath here. Hopefully, that's not going to be a huge. I mean, it's going to be a huge deal. Hopefully, it's not going to hinder majority of the progress. I may still need to find a place that can um, sandblast, do mobile sandblasting and sandblast the whole undercarriage, just everything. Sandblast the entire bus. Might be the move. I think this is one of the engine mount bolts. As far as I've heard, there are only four. I undo the two on the bottom, and then this one is loose from the other end. So. I might have to find a way to get a vice grip on it or something. Let me figure that out. All right, so now I believe I have all the, the all four bolts out. The one on this side, the bolt is still through the the hole. I can't get it out because I can't reach the back side of the stud. So what I'm gonna do now is remove. All the engine tins, these metal things here, all the way around. Hopefully they come loose. At least just what the video told me I should do next. So get all these off, take all the tin off, and then see what our next step is. Either gonna be good or bad. Hoping for good though. Now, I have the three pieces of tin here in the front off. Don't be alarmed. I am going to cover this, but the motor will go out and um, get rebuilt or at least refreshed. So I'm not too worried about small dust particles getting in it, but I don't want to obviously just have it open to the elements. Usually a good idea when I'm doing stuff like this, take the when you take the screws out or nuts, if whenever possible, put them back in the corresponding hole or you know 
there goes a wall. A lot more where that came from. All right, put you guys down. Taking the coil off. Decent headway. Got the two bolts on the driver passenger side disconnected. The mount is now just loose. I'm gonna do these two here. Hopefully, they're not stuck. The other ones weren't. And then we'll be able to. We'll be getting ready to drop this bad boy down. Where's that 13? Oh boy. 13. We'll be getting ready to drop this motor down here in a second. Oh, 
I've seen people do this in at freaking bug jam. Didn't seem so involved. Put you guys back down. Hopefully this goes well. Should have been the last bolt. Connected all the way. How is that kind of? This doesn't attach or anything. I don't know. I don't see anything that's attached. Let me get my light. Did we disconnect it? Throttle cable is still attached.
possibly help you with. Well, that was gonna break anyway. Heavier than I thought it was going to be, but not as heavy, if that makes sense. All right. Oh, there's room for activities. All right. Load the kid up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to find a place to stash this for right now. Probably right there looks good. And then be back at it. Okay, so now we have the engine out. Um, we have full access to clear things up, pull out the rest of the wiring, which we're going to do here probably in a second. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today or not. But we are moving and we are rolling. Now we can see exactly what we got going on here. The metal around the engine looks pretty decent, the frame and everything. And I don't think we'll need battery boxes either. I'm trying, just going to try and clean them up. If there's fiberglass fixes, I want to clean that up as well. If we do need the battery tray and this tray over here, I'll just order them to replace them new. This one has a hole in it, you see. And then we can start cutting, chopping, and all this stuff. Once I get the seals and all this stuff out of the way. A few more things I want to get out of here. And then um, we'll be done. So... But this video is I'm gonna stop it right here. Um, yeah, man, we're moving. We're moving. Um, I'm gonna try my best to come home and work on it every single day, even for at least an hour, um, depending on what it is. And then um, I have I know somebody who well I know somebody who knows somebody that rebuilds these motors, so I'll see about getting it over to him and then having him go through it and seeing exactly what we need. I'm gonna take the tins off, stuff like that. Um, or maybe I should just leave it intact and so he can just tell me exactly what I need as far as replacing because some of the tins are good. Some I think may be missing, the one on the other side over there is missing. And um, stuff like that. Definitely gonna have to cut the muffler off because I tried with the, the bolts are just completely seized. So almost, Every hard piece of hardware that I can replace with stainless, I'm gonna try and do that or dress up bolts. Um, like yeah, all of this stuff for the it's all for the heat exchange and all that stuff for toast. Um, doubt we'd need it, but I do want to see if I can replace it if possible. So yeah, that's it. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't and you would like to. A lot more bus content coming. In between the bus stuff, we do have Christine to work on. I think I settled on a color. So we have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. And uh, not that much time, to be honest. Tentative plan is to have both cars at Euro Tripper 10. Um, is it doable? Hopefully. Will we make it? Eh, who knows? Like I said, most of the stuff is complete on the bus. It's just the metal and bodywork and paint. And then once that's done, we could fly through the rest. Um, Christine just needs, you know, some sanding here and there, a couple fixes, and then paint, and then we're good. So, yeah, I think we're all right. Anyways, I will see you guys next time in the garage. Peace.